Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folari. Um, today, let's look at um, the, as, as you know, the uh, Presidential Election Petition Tribunal has uh, come and gone. It's delivered its uh, judgment. But understandably, it is not everybody that's happy with it. Those that lost, even though they have the right to go to the Supreme Court, um, there still is a lot of, um, uh, shall we say, uh, noise, turbulence uh, uh, in the society, especially on social media. And um, we, we thought we'd uh, look at that uh, this morning. Uh, our guest is uh, Comrade Joe Igbokwe, APC chieftain and former SA to the Lagos State Governor on Drainage and Water Resources. As always, thank you for coming on this morning, Joe. Thank you for having me. Already. Indeed. Now, the, the, the sitting of the Presidential Election Tribunal was televised, and even the judgment, I beg, I beg your pardon, was, was televised. Um, but the kind of um, outcry that has now met that judgment, you, you can't look away from it. Um, they stated, they explained, you know, why they arrived at the conclusions they arrived at, yet there are those who are still unhappy. You also would have been, you would have heard it. Just about every Nigerian has heard it. And even though they have the right to go to the Supreme Court, they still are not holding their peace. In fact, it's almost, some could say, they're actually beating drums of war, if at all possible. Um, there's so many reasons that they give. And I think one of the most preposterous, uh, if uh, I may say so, is that somehow the judgment was actually written from inside of APC itself. Uh, give me your overview, Joe, of um, your reaction to this whole, to the reaction of the petitioners who naturally didn't win, uh, you know, in, in our society. And um, it seems to me that there's a need for everybody to be calming down and there's a need for healing in the land. You see, Yuri, I'm a party man. And I have been in AD, AC, ACN, APC, close to 20 years now, since 1999. Even before 1999, we were in SDP, you know. So I'm a party man, so I know what it takes to win an election. It's not a one day job. We're not talking of local government election. We're not talking of, okay, House of Assembly or going to the House or governorship. We're talking about presidential elections. I made this thing. You know, people were talking about this, this, this. I have never changed my mind one day about Achuaju's victory because I understand that very well how he has labored for close to 30 years to get to where he is today. When he got the certificate of freedom, you know, as, as, as the president, he took carry this uh, his certificate in Marina. He said, this is my 30 years job. And people who do not know what he's saying will be thinking that uh, he's just talking what we know as a party man how he prepared himself, building friendship, building bridges, connecting, spending his money, raising leaders for 30 years. He was even sponsoring others to go for presidency, ask Suribadu, ask Atiku. You know, putting people there, ask the vice, former vice president, yeah. Uchibadu, ask all of us. But be all that as us. it is, Joe, yes. you know those who are close to him know. But apparently, those who, shall we say, are not as close and therefore who don't know? have that privilege. We are to, that's why I'm trying know. to go back to history to tell you that Be these things are And we told them. Because even all of that, I don't know that the judges of the, um, <laughs> uh, the tribunal uh, put, took any of that into consideration. Because as we know, we've, we've, we've spoken with uh, enough lawyers to know that uh, lawyers, uh, the courts usually consider the evidence in front of that them. That is it. In front of them. Yuri, 
I live in I live in Chirere. Where I go to vote is in Chirere LCDA. Okay. Made up of seven wards. Kokagda is one of them. Chirere. Seven wards. Chirere. Nine wards. If the election ends by two, by three, I will get the result from that, that zone. That's my zone. So you are coming to, to, to the courts, and there's no empirical evidence to show. Not even. You, for you to be the president, you should have polling agents across Nigeria. How many? Uh, it should be in, um, it's, you're talking about 176,000 polling booths. Mm -hmm. 8,000, you know, uh, uh, wards. Seven, seven, four local governments. And 36 states, including Abuja. You must have your men there. You must have your men and women there. Which is another point that uh, those who are unhappy with the ruling of the tribunal say that that matter about plus Abuja that you just said, mm. you know, all sorts of lawyers have yeah. opined <laughs> that if it you don't was want to five percent, yes, that Abuja was indispensable. Who told them? And um, their lordship, it's Abuja there, state, it's just the capital. Uh, their lordships there disagreed with that position. So a lot of people are taking all of these things, yeah. you know, and are saying that um, somehow. Uh, uh, APC uh, uh, was unfairly, you know, awarded. Uh, well, uh, uh, some it, it, it was an unfairness on the part of APC. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know because um, that's what the courts are for to resolve these matters, mm. and they've gone, mm. and the court has pronounced, uh, and now you're saying that. <laughs> virtually, they're saying, well, but but by going to the Supreme Court, you are indeed saying that I am not satisfied. And there's still more room. The indictment me. will be worse. People want us to dance to their ignorance. It's not an excuse. Where are your polling agents? Mm -hmm. These are the things that you are supposed to go to the tribunal with. We didn't see them. That's, they were not there. That's at least what one the lady the lady among them. That's mm -hmm. that. she she that emphasized that particular point. <laughs> Where is it? Where is the evidence? That there was no evidence. <laughs> there was to back no evidence. Up what they they were nowhere were. to. That. You see, that will bring us to what we have been saying. If you have followed me, I will say there is no structure. There are no structures on, on ground across Nigeria for, for Labour Party. Mm. Mm. It's just the yesterday party. It's just Ghana people. Guru, 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 guru. Eh, labor, 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 labor. We want to win presidential election in Nigeria. And there was ah, a lot of activity on I, social media. I just hope that they know what I know. If they know what I know, they will not be dissipating energies for nothing. They played the ethnic politics. It won't work. They played the religious politics. It didn't work. Hmm. 30 years of preparation. Hmm. You want to do? They were PDP members, so Pankwaso, a uh, Labour Party candidate, PDP candidate. They were all PDP members. And Few months to the election, they all they all PDP members. Before they moved, moved. And then moved. the candidate of eh? Labour Party, as you know, as is commonly known, the candidate of Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, was not even a judge second by. Third. A person that came told he's saying that he's second. and we're saying we're, we're dissipating in Nigeria talking about these things. It's ridiculous. It makes those of us that understand what it takes to win elections feel that maybe these people don't even understand what we're talking about. Because it stands to reason that <laughs> had the judgment gone differently, then there will be all hailing of the judiciary that aha. Nigeria, I mean, the judiciary is the last hope. But right now, because it hasn't you gone can't the get way what of you some, don't have. Nemo that would not have it. Can't get. Cannot, mm. yeah, there's can't no give way. What you don't have. Mm. Then you can't give what you don't have. Where are the votes? <laughs> where, is the, where are the evidence? Now, how concerned are you by um, the strident tones of? Um, those that are supporting the petitioners that did not do well at the petition at the tri tribunal, how you know how concerned are you that what they are doing 
continually, you know, putting out their impressions. Let me put it like that. That they won. <laughs> that they won. And that somehow this judgment at this stage was not doing them justice. Right. We still have one more step to go. Mm -hmm. But consistently putting it out like that, uh, it, there's, it, we have to be careful, don't we? Because um, it's almost as if they are we, we, calling to anarchy. Yes. The law must take its course, you know, given what we're hearing and what we're seeing. I saw the worst this morning when a candidate of LP was asking people, it's time to close their shops, close their churches. Can you imagine? And ma march that to and chase those people away in Nigeria. You can't do that. You, you can't do that. Ah, and this is it a, pains me to know that concern. people, people who vary to themselves. You can't, you can't win votes in Nigeria with South East alone. You're not seeking to be the president of Igbo or South East. You're seeking to be the president of Nigeria. And you should be at peace. With There's laws. There are laws in this country. Laws. You see, people are angry. The point they are calling for insurrection. They, actually, actually. That's what it means. Now, as you know, the, the, I think they also, the, the law chiefs also refer to that, that judgment as a whole, uh, refer to the fact that, look, Tinumbu, the president, lo lost in Lagos. Uh, uh, Buhari, he was an income president at the time, but we didn't know it. Mm -hmm. uh, Buhari lost in his own, That's you know. True. And um, as, as, as the comment, commentary of that was that, look, what kind of riggers, arrangers are those ones mm -hmm. if they make, uh, mm -hmm. in, in, in certain key states like that, they make the, uh, the candidate of the other party lose and you that are petitioning now and you are the winner. So what, what, what's going on here exactly? But it looks like they're just all of these voices. Unfortunately, it has to be said, largely from a certain section of society. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, are, are, putting, are putting it out that, no, this was not fair at all. This, we were, we've been cheated. And we won't, we won't stand for it. It's not cheated there. There was no preparation in the first place. They were not ready. When you say preparation, because I want to come back to Whatever, whatever we know, whatever you know and individuals know, well, I guess the courts put blinkers on yeah. because I've heard it. A lawyer has said that the courts are not going to do your homework for you. Yeah. Uh, I think I've also heard them say that the courts are not Father Christmas. Mm. That which you don't do by yourself, they're not going to make a present of it and hand it to that, you. That is it. They're not going to make a... That is so th there's a problem here because, after all, all of them are lawyers, including their lordships. They started out with a uh, law degree. A lawyer told them, look, that's what we call citizen. Two uh, uh, certified copies of the result, that's, of the uh, judgment, you know. Yes. <laughs> that was the first, the article group was the first to demand for it. They gave them. We demanded, they gave us. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether they got one. To look at the well, almost 800 page document. Yes. Seven, to nine, see. How detailed! We have never seen that kind yes. of judgment in the history of this. And the fact that you bring this up reminds me of the other allegation, yeah. accusation, in yeah. fact, that uh, you see now, there's even an APC watermark on the you know, certified true copy of the, um, of the judgment. It has no cover. It's just black and white. But they said it was a watermark, <laughs> uh, identifying that this it comes from ABC. And uh, 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 Babatunde Ogala, who I think heads up the, uh, the whole you know, uh, litigation uh, aspect of uh, APC, mm. had said that this was after they had got their copy. Yes. Yeah, so they marked it. become it. a problem about our property. Yes, they uh -huh. marked it. Now people are saying. Go, to, go and check PDP's own. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, these things are, you know, you just ask for it. And they will give it to you. Go and study. But but they are making a big deal out of the fact that... <laughs> that we produced it. That is why you watermarked it. Uh, Mr. Ola in Ejede, good morning to you, sir. I, I think um, uh, Ola in Ejede, please see if you can try back again. Uh, we're looking at some of these serious um, allegations and... Uh, there's a, there's a, I it's think... Watery. It's watery. There's, a, there's an attempt to um, affect even change the narrative no, can, no, away yeah. from, from the real matter from the, the real table. matter mm. on ground here. No, we will not allow that. And we will not allow that. 
And if we want to get the angle, we say 2231. 2231. Before, yeah, let everybody come. Let everybody, then, let everybody come back again. Let everybody come back again yeah. at that time. That 231. Not been talking about uh, 231 is eight years from now. Yes. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm. Uh, that's that's that's, uh, that's what uh, I want to say. Mm. Let Let me try Christopher in Wari. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank How you, Mr. Good morning. Uh, I want to thank uh, your guest in the studio, Okujo. Uh, Okujori, uh, uh, I want to greet you, Dodgers. If uh, this station people can give us an, enough time for Nigeria to keep contributing to your discussion. Because, as you know, in Nigeria, yeah, it is the only station where Nigeria can evolve in issues. So, you see, uh, this election issue, I think uh, obedient members should try and think and rethink how this election went. And because all of us knew that Peter Obi who was trying to adjust the SR's campaign. He used it as an opportunity to come in and say that he's youth. A 60 something years old man, he calling himself a youth. So let us be wait for, if they are going to Supreme Court, let us wait for them. And at the same time, I believe that, I believe that the our wise judges in the Court of Appeal, they have delivered a judgment of which we have never seen in this country once. Now they are, but, but you see, they, they, they are largely disparaging that judgment. They are largely uh, disparaging though, if, it. If, if, even, though, even though, that is really why you see, even the judges, they make it public. They telecast the judgment so that everybody around the whole world should know how the judgment, how they come to their uh, conclusion. Okay. So I still believe the Supreme Court will do the same so that they should go and prepare for 2027 and leave this man to start doing his job. Indeed. So let us focus on issue, focus on insecurity in the country. And I believe I still want to advise the current government to focus on a different way of fighting insecurity. Indeed. Because you cannot be doing the same thing I expect the same figure. All so right, then. I want to thank you once again. Try and talk to your producer so that this time should be extended. All yeah, right, then. More Nigeria we have Thank you very much, uh, Christopher, uh, for, for calling in. That's what we're talking about. Um, Nigeria, you know, believes in and operates rule of law. But, of course, we have lawyers now, and um, lawyers are also human beings. There are lawyers that were on the side of uh, the petitioners, which that is the way it's supposed that's to be. Supposed to, that's democracy. You know, that's uh, democracy. But then, you know, uh, the, the president also had his own uh, team. And now we are just, uh, well, I am just surprised that um, the way people that you would think you as, know better. as officers of the law would know better, uh, you know, the, the, what they are saying, I think, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of innocent youths, for instance, who, who don't know very much about these matters and maybe hear um, experts on television, experts on radio speak, begin to get a sense of what's going on. So from what is going on, if you are talking to a, a primary school child, for instance, uh, it, it, it's very, very confusing. The signals are very, very confusing. A judgment has been presented. There's, a, there's, the, uh, the, there's the opportunity to go on to the ultimate step, which is the Supreme Court. And just before that time, you're busy disparaging uh, what has been you know, uh, decided upon now. Even uh, the former Vice President, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, um, he, he has just started a whole different campaign over in the US, uh, wanting, to look, what, wanting to look into the you know, school backgrounds of um, uh, the president and uh, I, I have someone else from Ilori on the line. Who? I, I, Peter in Ilori. Good morning to you. Uh, good morning. Yes. Good. Please yeah, go. Ahead. Good morning. Good morning, Uncle Joe. Yeah. Good morning, Peter. Go yeah, ahead. It, it's been an interesting um, topic today, and uh, I, I my own contribution to this issue is this. I feel the script that is being played is actually intentional with the obedience 
and what we are seeing. Um, you see them coming often and often to at every to, dis, to to discredit almost every of our system. We went through an electional process. It, it, it was discredited. We, they went to court. They went after the judges. And I think this will always continue if something is not done intentionally about what we are seeing. Now, we are going to the Supreme Court. What you see them is also still going after our judges. And somebody even came out and said the present president is not his own president, our own president and all that. And these are intentional. And I think at a point, the government will have to actually also have to do something intentionally about what is going on. Because you know, the person was saying this is a civilian coup, this is this, this is this. And I feel that those are not just, um, they, they are intentional about all this. It started with the NSAS and it's continuing. And I think at the point, a decision has to be made as to making sure these are well regulated so that the wrong narrative is not being pushed out often and often, and then our views and everybody is going the wrong way. I think that's just my own contribution. Thank you so much. Indeed. Thank you very much. And um, in fact, to show you uh, how deeply, um, you know, uh, how, how deeply sore some people uh, have got, even religious leaders, even high-ranking religious leaders, uh, you know, actually deploying innuendo in, in, in what they are putting out there, uh, in spite of the fact that there are facts to the contrary. If you are in a country that practices the rule of law, you've got to go by what the court says. And they themselves, so where, where, where else is left? So the, the, this is the problem. I suppose we have to have a situation where people are called to order because I don't know, uh, what you think about how long this can possibly go on for, where there seem to be, you know, vaguely, you know, disguised calls for anarchy in the land. Um, there is a need for healing. Actions, direct consequences. By just watching the system, you can see how far it will go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, you can't abuse the judges. It's unheard of. I saw one, I saw one man, one young man. We put the pictures of the judges. Yes. The church. Yes, the church. yes, yes, yes. I had thought that up to, I thought that by now the man would have been in detention. He was stampooning the. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Uh, I, I saw. We, we, a lot of people saw that too. If you don't do anything. If you don't tell, if they don't know that action, actions, you know, carry consequences, they will continue to misbehave. Okay. Let me take Benga from Abuja. Good morning, Benga, in Abuja. Ben, uh, good morning, Mr. Yori. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Sidi Bukwe. Good morning. How are you? Yes. Uh, the tribunal judgment, to me, is a classic. I've been to judgment of tribunal. In 1983, this one was made very plain, explicit to a layman in the scene. Yes, I listened to the judgment for the 12 hours, and I was able to see that the petitioner, even they just came to fulfill all righteousness, they did not come for judgment or to win the case. For example, what are the laying claim to about Ashwaju have been laid to rest many, many years ago, about back as drug issues, certificates, whatever. Even the issue of uh, job nomination, they told APM that, look, a judgment by, by, uh, by PDA, uh, Supreme Court of PDP, is the same, say, I still want to go ahead. So everybody knew what the judgment would be. Now, the issue of not loading to IRA of loading. I've listened to many commentators. You look at it, either they are not well informed or they don't look at the Constitution. The Constitution gave INEX the power to, trans to conduct and target results the way they see fit. That is the section 50, subsection 2. It's what they gave INEX. If there is time, I will read it for you. Now, the issue of INEX that are talking about, 
all the ones they talk about uh, the annex chairman comment, annex chairman never mentioned coalition IRF. All the previous election, if it's election or three election or three election, IRF was just a big platform for public to view only only unit result. You will not see what result there. Yeah? Local government resort there, even state resort are not there, only the police unit. So if there's not any real time transmission, how did that affect the condition? All the evidence, all the people that came to testify for Labour Party, they said elections were well conducted. They that said they could not upload. Well conducted, but the result have been declared and they have a copy in their hands. Unfortunately, none of them brought any of the copy. To the tribunal. Natasha was able to take result to the tribunal, hard copy, and it can. Okay, so sorry that we uh, uh, we lost that call from Gwenga, but I think you had said you know adequately to put across your point of view.